and we're back again. Thanks for joining us. Today we're going to look at the nuclear power generation in the UK and to do that we need to go to the status page for each nuclear power station. Then we can look and see what's happening. So off we go. So we actually come to the EDF Energy page and go to their nuclear plant status. If we scroll down underneath the introduction, we get a daily status report, which gives us the details on each power station and their assets. So the first one we come to is Torness. There are two reactors. Reactor one is working at 410 megawatts uh, on a reduced load because it's about to be refueled and reactor 2 is on negative because it's on statutory outage so therefore it needs a load of energy to carry out the maintenance. If we click on each power station name what we get is some extra information and we can look at that gas cooled reactors to AGRs just under 1200 megawatts and other information about the employment details. So we can scroll down and effectively this is a matrix of each station and its reactor. So Sizewell has got one reactor. Remember Sizewell is different to the AGRs. This is a PWR pressurized water reactor. Again total output can, can be around about 1200. That is one reactor with the two turbines both working roughly at normal load. Hunterston B, that one is going through all sorts of work at the moment because the graphite cores have deteriorated quicker than expected and so the Chief Nuclear Inspector is looking very closely at both those reactors before they can be restarted to make sure that full safety mechanisms would be in place. Hinkley Point B, roughly full. Haysham Two, which is reactors number seven and eight on full. Haitian one, and interestingly, a nominal full load on reactor one is a little bit low, and reactor two has been showing this error for quite some time at reduced load to manage fuel temperatures. Hartlepool, reactor two, raising load following a trip, automatic trip, that would be some sort of safety mechanism that cut in when something went awry, and Dungeness both reactors off for statutory outages. Now if we go back and have a closer look at the date on these reports, they're all dated the 26th of October. Today is the 29th, so this is three days behind. But we can get much more up-to-date information. There's a, a link in the top of the web page here called Remit page. Click on that and we will go to a table that we've got quite a lot of control over and what I'm going to do we're going to leave it at today you can choose events right up to a year seven days 30 days a year and what's going to be happening but we'll just leave it today for the time being I'm going to choose nuclear in the fuel type I will choose all on the event status and then we will actually see everything that's that's been happening and, and you can see here that's today's date this has happened at 8.22 this morning and it looks like the Haitian reactor went to zero and then was bought up, increased power, went down a bit uh, and that was all over the course of a short period of time. I think on today's that is the only reactor represented. So that can be looked at each day and of course you can go back and look at a bit of history and as mentioned that is pretty much in in real time. A big thanks for making the journey with me today. I hope that you found it useful to see how you too can monitor the nuclear power stations in the UK. See how they're doing, whether there are any outages, whether there are any issues and what, the, what their output is at any given time. So do subscribe. Please do leave a comment if you'd like to know more or if there's a topic that you'd like us to cover in one of these videos. Until the next time, thank you for watching. <laughs>